Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. This is another Easter project and as you can see it is not finished. Um, you will know what I'm making because you would have seen the video, um, the pictures at the beginning of the video. So this is my Easter wreath, um, my rosette wreath and um, I'm going to show you how to put it all together. So I've done all of it. I'm just going to be assembling it because basically all of these rosettes I've already made in two, maybe three other tutorials and I'm going to link all of those up here somewhere now. So what I would suggest is decide your colours, um, you know, the, the kind of theme and things like that you want to go to, then go to my video and make the rosettes and then come back to this video for the you know, assembling, I guess, um, because it just seems silly me repeating myself when I, it's pretty much the same. So I'm going to talk you through the sizes that I've got. So again, you know what to cut um, and, uh, and have prepared. So I have taken a picture when I was playing around and laying it all out, and I'm going to revert back to that in a minute. But first of all, I'll go through everything that you're going to need if you want to make the same size and kind of similar to what I've got. So these large ones here, these have been cut from, um, so basically to make one of these rosettes, so this is a four inch diameter rosette, so you need to cut strips of two inch wide um, strips, and I've basically cut all mine from A4, which is um, 11 and 5 eighths um, of an inch long card. So um, if you're using letter paper, that is 11, that will be fine as well. So if you're using letter paper, you'd need two pieces of 11 by two, and you would make this size. How to actually make them and put them together, that will be in those videos that I just shared those links to. So for this particular one that I'm making, I've got one, two, three, four, five, uh, five of those four inch ones. Okay, so that's what you'll need. These on top here are just die cut circles from my punch, um, and then I've just finished them off there on the top with some buttons, okay? So that's four of that size. Then I've got three of these ones here, these little green gingham ones, and these measure at, um, they're actually, they're one and a half, this is three, that's a bit over, but I think it's because of the glue in the middle. So these again would be a strip of A4, or um, in, in length, or your letter paper, so 11 or 11 and 5 eighths, by one and a half. So that gives you a three inch diameter rosette. So you would need, again, two pieces of one and a half by 11, and that will make rosette. So there's three of those ones. I'm gonna write all of this down as well in my blog as always, so you can obviously just go to that as well. Then I've got one, two, three of these little ones here, which I think are the two inch, yep, yeah, two inch ones. So again, you'd need one inch by 11 or one inch by 11 and five eighths. And again, I've got three of those. And then I've got these really tiny ones here, which are three eighths of an inch, because it gave me a one and a half rosette. So these would be three eighths of an inch by 11 or three eighths of an inch by 11 and five eighths. And again, I've got four of these ones. Oh, that one I didn't put anything on. It doesn't matter, it's a bit different. Then I've just kind of raided all other bits and pieces that I've got. So these here I might not use, I might use, I don't know. These are from um, the Nature's Grace um, Dove Craft. They're an embellishment pack that you can buy um, of rosettes. So I've just got those ones lying around. But the colours, maybe that greeny one, that would work. And maybe that one as well, but I don't think that one because I haven't got anything purple in this. Um, I found this fun little just wood veneer little house. I thought it's got a little bit of a spring Easter feel to it, so I might use that. These I purchased from the pound shop and I've been playing around pulling out the eggs and kind of putting them into little groupings. Again, I might use these, I might not. Um, so that's those. Start putting everything to one side as I go. I've die cut some butterflies, so I thought these could be quite nice. So again, just go through all your die cuts and see what things you've got. I picked up all of these again from the pound shop, I think, pound land, somewhere like that. You go in there at the moment, they've got tons of Easter stuff. I don't know, I've been receiving messages and stuff of people saying that they've picked up their carrots. So I've got one on here. That's, um, these are a pack of seven from the pound shop. Um, we've got the chicks, so this is a pack of chicks here from the pound shop. Um, and then, yeah, those, so I might use the chick there, or maybe that green. That green doesn't really go, but the yellow does. So I'm trying to really, you know, just keep within like yellow, orange and green. Um, I've got that little peg, which I thought could be quite nice somewhere. Um, I've got some of these little daisy flowers. Again, may or, not, may or may not use them. Then I've just got these rabbits that I had fussy cut, which I used in the Facebook Live. I've got them left over. I might slot them in somewhere. 
and then I've got these um, Scrabble pieces. Um, I have lots of Scrabble pieces. I do other things with these, um, which I might start sharing a bit more now in my tutorials. Um, but I've just got Happy Easter then. I'm going to hopefully have that sentiment sat somewhere as well. And then some ribbon and a bow. So the ribbon I've got for the handle is 20 inches. But again, I'll probably have it a little bit shorter than that and then just the bow, which I'm going to add somewhere as well. So I've got my glue gun on, getting nice and hot. And then what I've done is, on the back of um, some of the paper packs, I know, especially stamping up, they, they have this really thick chipboard to stop the card bending in, you know, when it's being transported and delivered and stuff. So I cut this circle out and then obviously the middle. So I've got this ring. You can go to, oh, sorry, just not my camera. You can go to, um, you know the the craft shops and order a um, order you can buy um, wood veneer rings you can buy the polystyrene uh, rings but I've got so much stuff well my mum has because I'm obviously using her bits and pieces but even in my craft room things like this you're not going to see it and I just want it to be something that these will stick to and I can kind of start building it up on so this one here if you're going to be doing that I'd say maybe get a plate something that you've got that is as close to eight inches in the the furthest you know the biggest ring so the outer ring is eight and then I've done it so that it's roughly half an inch all the way around um, and it's seven inches then inside so that would give you that half an inch on each side so yeah something roughly like that it's kind of circular it's a little bit wonky but again once you see how I'm going to start putting it together it doesn't matter so yeah pretty inexpensive stuff most of this is things I already had it's just these bits here I've recently purchased from the pound shop other than that it's all things that I had in my stash so let's so I've got my it, phone so. here and this is the picture that I took when I was playing around and I'm really happy with that one that's the one I'm going to recreate now so first of all I want to get pop all this to one side and I want to get my kind of my handle um, the hook put in place and I'm going to glue gun it onto here first um, bearing in mind I'm going to have this yellow one there so I want to make sure the hooks you know there's plenty of room there to hang it which I think there is so just with my hot glue this is all a hot glue project I'm not using any other glues apart from this if you've got a silicon spatula I've got one back at home my mum hasn't got one here you can use a bone tool um, you just want to prevent yourself from burning but it's only really this bit of fabric that's you would need for that the rest of the stuff just means you could push down on that now I'm carefully doing it I mean you do need to be careful because these glue guns obviously are piping hot but otherwise you could just put the silicone spatula on there and it would save your fingers but that's fine like that and then it's going to be built up now with other bits and pieces and then on just top. trim off that you can't see any of it I also went over this and just um, got some uh, white paint and just painted over it but because it's um, chipboard it just absorbs it all so it's kind of gone like a grey colour but I just wanted something that you know wasn't that original kind of brownie so um, picture keeps going I need to open it up properly okay so I'm going to do so this one was pretty much in the middle there so what I want to do is I'm going to put glue on the this bit rather than on this because it's obviously that concertina. If I just put the glue there, I know a part of it will stick like so. Just hold that in place and that will do that. Then the next one, I've got the big orange. I'm doing all the ones on the bottom first. So um, all these big ones go down first of all. So then this one is like so. So again, I'm just going to put some glue there, need another glue stick like so again I can feel when it's attaching to it the more and more that's going to get built up on this as well it will just make it really really strong so then I've got another yellow one kind of get me down glue here. strings later then I'm going to come around this side and do the other. Now this one, one, this yellow one isn't attached because I've got this orange one kind of sitting to attach it. So I'm going to come away a little bit there. And then I've got the orange one down here. Oh, come up a bit there so you can see. And then that one's going to go like so. So they're kind of where I want them to be. I think I'm going to remove carefully because that glue is still, yeah 
still a bit wet. So you can see that was the actual colour there of what it was before, but I mean this is going to go straight over so I'm not worried. So I'm going to put that back on again, but I want it to come out a bit more. Did I have it touching? Um, it's kind of like that. Yeah, that's better. So I've got more of a gap in the middle there. It's looking a bit more even now. Okay, so now I can start adding. So this green one is going at the bottom. So I'm going to do this one first is going up here. So with this one now, what I'm going to do is put some glue just on this bit and again on there and quickly stick that down and it will just grab onto it. Again, glue guns are great because they only need a little bit to kind of stick to and once it sets, that's it, it's, it's stuck in there. So, that's that one. And then, so, I've got one like that and I've got an so orange I'm one. I'm going to stick this one down first. Right, okay, so that one's stuck down and then that one I'm going to kind of sandwich the end bits in there. And then put a bit of glue on these two sides. So, kind of like that. Okay, and then I'm going to go up to this top here. And I've got that one, which again is kind of sandwiched on the sides there. So, again, another glue stick. You do use quite a lot of glue up with this. So, I'll put a bit on there. Okay, so I'm just holding those ones in place there because I've put two together, kind of again, one on top of the other. But it's starting, if I lift it up, you can see it all holds really well. Um, okay, go back to my picture again. So then I've got this big one here. Keep looking up in the camera, making sure, yeah, that looks good there. So this one's a bit more of a larger surface, so I can just pretty much just add some glue. This isn't the best glue gun, but it is my mum's, but she doesn't really do this kind of stuff a lot, so I'll let her off. Okay, stick that one there. So then I've got this one that's kind of connected, and then I've got like this one here, and then I've got this orange one underneath here as well, so really that needs to sit in that yellow one like so and then they're going to kind of be clustered together like that if i just bring that up a bit and just keep moving it kind of like that needs to go up in there a little bit more just so i'm keeping that kind of circle effect so i'm just going to get these three stuck okay, so down that's that little cluster put together there and then i've got i need to I don't know whether to add that one there now. I'm thinking I might put one up under here because I've got a little bit of the, well, like you can't see it, but I can see it when you look down on it. I'm going to put some glue just on that ring and then I can just slide that one in. Okay. Like so. Oh, I really like it. So this has been such a lovely project to do because I just sat down with a good movie and just made all the rosettes, which again, if you cut and prepare all your strips first, then do all the concertina folds, and then glue them all together, um, which again you'll see, and I mentioned this in the tutorials for that, it's just, it's a really, this is now just the fun bit, this is really, really, I'm enjoying doing this. Just make sure we get rid of that there. I just don't know where to put this last one, and I want to use it. Try and I keep looking up in the video to see, does that look quite good there? So it needs something under here to balance it out or should it be down there okay I'm still playing around with that one but I quite like having that happy Easter in the middle like that so it's going to kind of dangle so I've got some orange ribbon that I'm just going to try okay, so here. they're really snug so I know how close that that needs to be done so I'm just going to remove that pop that to one side and because these are scrabble pieces they are hollow inside so you can only glue that bit there so I'm literally going to stick it onto this fabric so I'm just going to run some hot glue um, along that top bit there and obviously because it's going on fabric hot glue and fabric are good 
putting it right to the top because I don't really need it. I'm not bothered about actually seeing the ribbon, like so. And I want them really, really close together. So I'm just going to go along and stick these all okay, down. Okay, so happy. And that, as the ribbon bends, you can see it just kind of has a nice shape to it. So that will sit in nicely. And then the Easter, I need to do exactly the same again. So I'm just going to grab this, stick okay, that along the top. and there is the Easter. E-A-S-T-E-R. You know when you look at something and then think that you spell it wrong? <laughs> I just had this thought then that, oh, that doesn't look right. But there you go. So that is my two little sentiments. So just trim that down roughly the same. So now we need to attach this onto the back. So let's just bring it back over and check how this is all going to work. So they're going to bend around a little bit. So the happy is going to go quite high up and then the Easter will be again in there like so but it's going to bend they're going to be kind of on an angle draping down like so so i'm now going to flip this over so you can see how it all looks on the back so it's all relatively nice and neat and tidy and i've got my gauge as to where the top is with that so i know and obviously I, the letters can still be seen the idea is is that they're going to sit up on the sides quite taut like so, but enough then to, for them to kind of Okay, so what down. I've done is i put the Easter running right the way underneath it, I've done the two of them together, so on the back, you can see there how I've just done them. I mean, if you want to tidy it up more on the back, you can, I guess, but <laughs> I'm not going <laughs> to. You could put something on the back there, but I like that, I think that looks really nice. And we're going to build up even more around it now as well, so I've obviously still got this little house that can go in somewhere. I've got these butterflies so I think I'm going to have one on top of the other and have it kind of coming into this area here like and so a little embellishment or something on there as well so it's going to be just coming up this little there. peg which I don't know whether to do I might have something it might say something or it could be oh actually I've got my bow bow needs to go like in as well there. And stick onto that and kind of wrap around the sign. Let's give that a go. So I'm literally just, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just playing with it because the good thing with this kind of stuff is more is better. Just keep adding to it, building it up. You've got little embellishments. I've got these eggs here, I've got these little nests. I can add this, although that looks like a grape. Don't they look like grapes? <laughs> Maybe not those ones. So again, just sticking that onto the side of that rosette Okay, there. so now I've got all these little bunnies. Let's get these out as well. And we can just pop a couple, just some little small ones, just kind of on my little chick. What's happened to my chick? Where's his face gone? Oh, he's, he's all disappeared. <laughs> my chick is dissolved. Look, he's coming apart. Oh dear, what's happened to him? I'm going to have to trim him off. Oh look, there's his face. <laughs> do not know what happened to that little one there let's just uh, at least get the uh, feet off there we go because the rest of that doesn't matter because this one can sit over the top oh poor little fella he didn't last long did he right let's sit this one back on um, what was I doing to so bunnies what have we got I think the ones that are kind of like grazing look quite okay, I'm going to have this guy this little felt guy let's get another glue stick quite like him. Again, I might put a little bow or something in his hair. But he's going to kind of go on here, like so. I've still got this one, I really want to use it. Maybe it could just be like there. I'm going to put it up there. I'm just going to have it overlapping a little bit, like so. Um, still would like to use this house. Maybe that could go in there somewhere. I think I'm going to have this house down here because it kind of needs to still be quite centred rather than just sat perched there on the outside. Like so. And then maybe I have a couple of these little daisies kind of squashed in as well. They could look quite good. I think they've doubled up there. Maybe something hidden in there. Oh, yeah, I've got some little 
kind of yellowy orange embellishment. So I'm going to put one in the middle of that one there. And I'm not going to put loads, but just a couple on top of these buttons. Just again to give it just another dimension. There's a lot going on on this, but that's what I like. I've gone very over the top. But do you know what? I like it. <laughs> And that's the nice thing about when you do these kind of projects. They're so individual. Like this, I'm not going to see this exact one anywhere else, and that's what's I love. Um, okay, what else do we need? Oh, I've also got some pom poms. I'm sure we could add a few little silly. They look quite good as well, and these are good for like just stuffing in if you've got anywhere that might have a bit of glue or you've got something, you know you need to cover up. There's all different sizes here. Again, these were from the pound shop. I'm going to put one in there. That kind of pads that out a bit. You can see that all different colours. We've got tiny, even really dinky ones here. These could look quite fun. Let's grab a couple more of these. No orange ones though. What else? Do you think I should add any more? You're probably watching that going, no, that's it, that's it, that's it. Or there's people going, yeah, do more, do more, do more. I won't win. And I know there's going to be some people that are probably going to think, look at this and think, ugh. So, but again, I don't care. I'm having fun. That's what crafting's all about. It brings me joy. Do you know what, though? I think I am going to leave it there. I think that is really, really good. I love it. I absolutely adore that. It springs, it springs, it screams spring, Easter, happy, all those lovely things. There's so much to look at. I'm still gonna try and incorporate that peg somewhere and I might have a little thing in it just saying like spring is here and pop that somewhere. There's no reason why that couldn't maybe go up there. You may see it in the picture, you may not, but there you go. Anyway, that is it. So like I said, revert back to the other tutorials for how to make a rosette, but this one was then showing you how to put it all together pictures will be hang it will be hanging up so you'll be able to really see it um, in more natural light but there you go if I bring it up closer and kind of work my way around so you can see there I've got the little chick got the butterfly with the gem all the rosettes the bow the daisy I've put a little rabbit in there I might add another one of them and obviously the happy Easter but when that's up then it's like that again I think that looks rather splendid so there you have it so I hope you like this um, home interior um, project from me today um, and it just shows you don't have to go out and spend tons of money and buy a really expensive wreath you can do it yourself for pennies so there you have it hope you like it please hit the thumbs up if you did enjoy and subscribe to my channel to see more thanks for watching bye